the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, the government says major changes underway tomorrow will bring some relief to families feeling the squeeze. Auckland's fuel tax is being ditched as paid parental leave increases. The new family boost reimbursement is also kicking in. Luxon says this will allow eligible families to claim back up to $150 a fortnight of their early childhood education fees. Early childcare costs are a big cost for young families and we know the financial impact that it can have on mums and dads looking to return to work. Luxon says inflation's falling but more needs to be done to drive down cost pressures. The world continues to weigh in on what's been labelled a hard-to-watch US presidential debate. There's concern from foreign diplomats and supporters over Joe Biden's lacklustre performance against Donald Trump. US correspondent Dan Mitchinson says behind closed doors, some top Democrats say they don't think Biden's mentally or physically up to the job. But apparently nobody, uh, advisors, and that's what they're supposed to be doing, (laughs) stepped up and were willing to tell Joe Biden this face-to-face. France's far-right party could be a step closer to power after tonight's snap parliamentary election. Tonight is the first round of voting. The second round will happen on July 7. The far-right national rally is polling ahead of a coalition of left-wing parties and Emmanuel Macron's centrist party. Kiwis all across the globe have also been celebrating Matariki this weekend. Dawn services, markets, festivals, workshops on Nationwide for the third year of the official holiday. Chief Advisor for Matariki, Rangi Matamua, says he's aware of Kiwis celebrating together in Germany, USA, Japan and the UK. He says the holiday is becoming a rallying point for New Zealanders abroad. Kiwis are saying, well, this is a reflection of who we are as a nation and even though we're in a different season, we're get together and celebrate who we are. So I think that's really cool. That's news. In sport, Shane Van Gisbergen has finished 15th in the latest NASCAR Xfinity race in Tennessee, rising 13 places after qualifying at 28th. Mitch Evans has dropped from 1st to 8th in the Portland E pre after a five second penalty. Team New Zealand has debuted two new foils just 54 days out from the start of the America's Cup. Tai Horu was having her first outing in Barcelona after three years of design, development, and testing, and a 28 day shipping journey from New Zealand. Germany and Switzerland are through to the quarterfinals of Euro 2024 after two nil wins over Denmark and Italy, respectively. Veteran French cyclist Romain Bardet has snared the first yellow jersey of this year's Tour de France, just pipping teammate Frank Vandenbroek at the opening stage win with Belgium's Wout van Aert, third, five seconds back. That sports, I'm Sandy Hodge. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.